our farm goes back, my dad uh, started farming back um, during the Depression and, uh, and farmed in the post-World uh, War II days. And I remember my first memories of farming were when we would be planting that uh, I've ridden on my dad's lap many a time um, on a Black Hawk planter, two-row Black Hawk planter behind two mules. And uh, so we could plant probably about 20 acres a day. We would, were not big farmers, but most everyone back in those days had about 80 acre farm. And uh, that's what we had was 80 acres. And we grew most of our grain to um, feed our livestock and uh, provide uh, food for the family. Growing up on a farm, uh was was great all my toys were were small tractors and uh, that's just what I asked for around Christmas time I wasn't interested in uh, video games or anything like that I wanted to get a toy tractor and uh, I've still got my pedal tractor that uh, that I got when I was probably six or seven years old um, we restored it a few years ago but um, my interest in agriculture really grew when I got into high school. Like my dad, I got involved in FFA, and I was fortunate enough to be elected to state FFA president in 1995-96. <clears throat> and after that, I went to college at UT Martin. I graduated there in 1999, and I've been farming full-time ever since. Just to be able to have my boys come back to the farm would be great. Uh, I want to use the same philosophy. I don't want to force agriculture on them. But, um, but if they want to farm, I want to make sure that, that I can, can make that happen for them. Uh, watching them grow up, I see myself in them, and, and it's, uh, I think that one of the three will probably want to farm. Um, and and it'll just be interesting to see if which one or if all three want to come back. It'd be great to have all three on the farm.